Canada has just uh, uh, they they uh, asked us to uh, su uh, subject our uh, high commissioner to a police uh, uh, inquiry, you can say, and we chose to withdraw the high commissioner and diplomats. Now, by you know, look look at it. They seem to have a problem if Indian diplomats are even trying to make efforts to find out what is happening in Canada on matters which directly pertain to their welfare and security. But look what happens in India. Canadian diplomats have no problem going around collecting information on our military, on our police, profiling people, targeting people to be stopped in Canada. So apparently, the license that they give themselves is, you know, is totally different from the kind of restrictions that they impose on, uh, uh, on diplomats uh, in Canada. Or even take the press. I'm at a press event. Now, you know, when we tell them, saying, look, uh, you have people openly threatening leaders of India, diplomats of India. You know, sometimes the threat is not just verbal, it's physical. So their answer is freedom of speech. Okay? Now, when Indian journalists make social media comments, I mean, if you threaten the Indian High Commissioner, he is supposed to accept it as freedom of speech. But if an Indian journalist says the Canadian High Commissioner walked out of South Block looking very grumpy, it is apparently foreign interference. <laughs> now, how, you know, look, look at the, uh, I mean, there's not even, uh, double standards are a very mild word for it. So, look, there is this thing that we, we will con do it differently at home, we will different, do it differently abroad, we will do it our way, but that doesn't apply to you. So I think these are the larger, uh, I would say, adjustments which have to happen uh, in this changing world. Uh, we reached an agreement on patrolling, uh, and uh, with that, uh, the uh, disengagement, uh, you, that, you know, we have gone back to where the situation was in 2020, and we can say with that the disengagement uh, process with China. Uh, uh, you can say has been completed. So, uh, so far, I would say uh, that's as much as I can share with you. I'm sure it, in, few, you know, in due course, this case details will be released. So, will now India be able to patrol in the areas of Galwan, Dipsong? No. Uh, uh, you see, uh, there would be, there, there are areas uh, which uh, for various reasons after 2020 because uh, they had blocked us, so we had blocked them. So, dono, dono, do tar, tarfa tha, you know, Bob. So, what has happened is we have reached an understanding which will allow the patrolling. Uh, you, for example, you spoke uh, about Depsang. Uh, you know, uh, that's not the only place. There are other places other also. Places. So, I think uh, the understanding to my uh, knowledge is that we will be able to do the patrolling which we were doing in 2020. Uh, globally, many many policy elites have said that actually Modi-led India is a great opportunity to shape the new global order. Ko shape karne ki. Us role ko aap log kitna play under stated dhang se play kar rahe hain, ya kitna front foot par khelne wale hain? Dekhe, hum dono kar rahe hain. Dono kar rahe hain, kyunki kabhi kabhi समय अवसर मौका ऐसा होता है यू हैव टू बी फ्रंट फुट जैसे हमें लगा कि ग्लोबल साउथ की आवाज जो है बिल्कुल दब गई सो लीडिंग इनटू जी20 हमें लगा यू हैव टू गेट द ग्लोबल साउथ टुगेदर वी हैव टू गेट बैक टू देयर कंसर्न्स व्हिच हैड गॉट साइडलाइट दैट्स ओकेजन वेयर यू आर एज यू से ऑन फ्रंट फुट but there are occasions where you have to be more uh, deft. Ab, jase ab, Rahan Mantri ji, he went to Russia, he met President Putin, then he went to Kiev. Okay. So, now, certain things, ab, isko ab public mein broadka, main to aapko to nahi bataunga what right. is happening. So, some things you have to do from 
little bit more uh, discreetly, deftly. But I would say this, uh, just look over the last 10 years. Right now, there is a war going on in Ukraine. How many countries, how many prime ministers, how many leaders have the ability to go to Moscow, talk frankly, go to Kiev, talk frankly, go back to Moscow and go back to Kiev? Similarly, there's another war going on in the Middle East. Now, not many people know that even in the last year, you know, the number of times where actually we've had conversations with Iran and conversation with Israel, that's also there. मैं जरूर मैं पूरे वेस्ट की मैं बात तो करूंगा क्योंकि सिविलाइजेशनली आप कह सकते हैं कल्चरली वो जुड़े हुए हैं बट मैं ये नहीं कहूंगा कि ऑल ऑफ देम आर ऑन द सेम पेज या सब लोगों को वो समझ नहीं है इनफैक्ट आपने अमेरिका का जिक्र किया मैं तो उल्टा कहूंगा कि अमेरिका में वो समझ है इसीलिए अगर आप ये क्वाड जो uh, 2017 में जो बनी थी क्वाड आप ये क्वार देखिए तब तक अमेरिका कहता था कि अगर आप ट्रीटी अलाइन नहीं है तो मैं आपके साथ बियॉन्ड अ पॉइंट आई एम नॉट प्रिपेयर टू वर्क विथ यू उसकी लिमिटेशंस होंगी नाउ दे दे इवॉल्ड यू नो दे हैव चेंज टुडे आप पिछले सात साल में देखेंगे हाउ मच क्वार हैज एक्चुअली ग्रोन सो आई वुड से दिस यू नो वेन आई गो टू यूरोप वेन आई गो टू डेफिनेटली यू एस नॉर्थ अमेरिका देर आर कंट्रीज विच हैव Uh, understood this there are countries today who say there is a value to working with india there are countries who say okay this is our interest this is india's interest let us find a meeting point now the the uh, unfortunate thing is that didn't get through in canada or maybe the politics the political compulsions overtook that i mean i as i said i can only speculate on the reason so i would not से यू नो पूरे वेस्ट को समझ नहीं है कि जो उनकी ऑर्डर जो है वो चल नहीं पाएगी हमारे बिना इसी वी विल ऑल कम टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स वी विल यू नो वर्ल्ड इज अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल प्लेस तो वो समझते हैं बहुत लोग एडजस्ट भी करते हैं कोई कम करते हैं कोई ज़्यादा करते हैं कोई कुछ सब्जेक्ट में करते हैं दूसरे में नहीं करते तो ऑल ऑफ दैट विल हैपन बट इट इज जस्ट इन दिस स्पेक्ट्रम मैं कहूँगा कैनेडा इज वे बिहाइंड जब मैंने पहली बार आपका इंटरव्यू किया था तो मैंने कहा हमारी पूरी बातचीत हो गई पाकिस्तान का नाम ही नहीं लिया चलिए अच्छा था ना नहीं लेकिन अब मैं इसलिए ले रहा हूं क्योंकि आप जाके आए हैं और स्पेकुलेशन अगेन हमारा काम है करना कि नवाज शरीफ फिर बुलाएंगे प्राइम मिनिस्टर को सॉरी स्पेकुलेशन क्या नवाज शरीफ हाँ फिर बुलाएंगे प्राइम मिनिस्टर को मैं उनसे तो नहीं मिला था पर और मैं गया था वहाँ एस की मीटिंग के लिए और जैसे मैंने पहले से बहुत स्पष्ट रूप से कहा था आई एम गोइंग देयर फॉर अ एस मीटिंग आई एम अ गुड एस सी मेंबर आई विल बी वेरी सपोर्टिव एंड वी वेर इट वाज अ पाकिस्तानी प्रेसिडेंसी ऑफ एस सी ओ वी वेर वेरी सपोर्टिव ऑफ इट ऑल ऑफ अस हैड एन इंटरेस्ट कि एस की प्रोसीडिंग जो है बहुत स्मूथली चले तो गए वहाँ मिले सबसे हाथ मिलाया हैड ए गुड मीटिंग और आ गए वापस चलिए ठीक है टुडे देर वॉज अ थ्रेट इशूड ऑन द इंडियन ऑन द एयर इंडिया बाय द टेररिस्ट ग्रुप एंड द कनेडियन मिस्टर पन्नू और वट एवर इज कॉल्ड वॉट इज आवर टेक ऑन दैट एंड वॉट इज द गवर्नमेंट्स प्लान बिकॉज वी सी अ लॉट ऑफ इशूज विद कैनेडा एंड दिस मॉर्निंग देव दिस गाय हैज typically asked all people to refrain from flying air india so i see uh, what is your take on that sir we have seen threats to our airlines we have seen threats to our parliament we have seen threats to our diplomats we have seen threats uh, to our high commission to our leaders and that is a source of concern to us because if these threats you know because they are cleverly worded are then said you know they are okay with freedom of speech Uh, i think there are very serious issues and the point which we make to the country concerned let us reverse roles suppose you were at the receiving end of this threat suppose it was your airline your leaders your diplomats your parliament would you take it as lightly as that so no you don't get a second chance i get to answer so look 
my my point is these are these are exactly the kind of problems with which we started this conversation that there are countries which feel that you know uh, uh, your concerns don't matter you know that's okay that's part of our politics but if the slightest thing happens to them even if it is legitimate they have a you know they start jumping up and down so uh, as i said you know when when i see today you are talking of something as egregious as a threat to the allies i am talking of some something as simple as social i mean if a government can list out i don't know 20 25 indian journalists saying these journalists are today interfering in my country because they have made social media posts and this is the same government which then tells you you know a threat to airlines is part of freedom of speech i think you ask yourself you know whose credibility is taken